And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow others in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOC network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 3,000 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a newer series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9VKV followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV logbook and KC9VKV highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. Our mission statement for the QSO VLUG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running five internet SDR receivers. Monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia specifically. And in addition, we're running our newer number five Hocus Pocus internet SDR receiver loaded with 50 additional pre-programmed internet SDR locations spread out over 20 states across the eastern half of the United States, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these five SDR receivers comes up on a sixth position rotary selector. Also in this selector is our local receiver audio. 
And today, our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today, on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant tuned dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant tuned dipole antenna runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO Vlog video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO Vlog network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you will reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this part of the band has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now, with all that being said, let's open it up and see who's out there. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. Kilo Oscar 4, Juliet, Juliet, Romeo. Ah, uh, Juliet, Juliet, Romeo, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Ah, uh, Juliet, Juliet, Romeo, Roger, Roger. What's the name there? Roger, Jim, QRP in uh, Tennessee, around Knoxville. Uh, and what uh, what radio is that uh, QRP radio? Uh, and what uh, what radio is that uh, QRP radio? Uh, One more time, slowly. One more time, slowly. Roger, Roger, Jim, I'll tell you what, buddy, uh, why don't you give me about 10 seconds, uh, tell me uh, about that antenna system some, and uh, I'll uh, look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. I'll uh, look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. Now, uh, does that uh, QRP radio have a mic uh, level control? QRP radio have a mic uh, level control? Well, I'm kind of into this, but I'm sure it does. Uh, what do I need to do? Pump it up. Pump it up. <laughs> I've got about uh, a dB over my noise over the Kentucky SDR uh, noise level, so if you could... Uh, Pump up a little bit, let's see where it goes, Sir Roger, Roger. Pump up a little bit, let's see where it goes, Sir Roger, Roger. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, take that mic gain up to 50 and let me listen to you. Take that mic gain up to 50 and let me listen to you. Listen to you. Take that mic gain up to 50 and let me listen to you. Gosh, uh, I think I can hear you a little bit better now, Jim. Roger. Gosh, uh, I think I can hear you a little bit better now, Jim. Roger. Okay. Uh, what is your call sign and where are you located? I was intrigued by your uh, resident tune. I was going to look it up. Yes, sir. We're uh, on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville, Kentucky. Roger. Right of the Ohio River, right at Louisville, Kentucky. Roger. Roger, Roger. Indiana side of the river up by Louisville. Okay. Roger, and this is the uh, QSO VLOG Net. We are recording now uh, live till 5, so uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a copy on you on the uh, Kentucky SDR. You're about uh, 2 dB over that noise level. I don't really have a copy on you elsewhere, uh, only on that uh, Kentucky SDR at the moment, Roger. Uh, only on that uh, Kentucky SDR at the moment, Roger. I'm on my uh, local antenna today, Jim, uh, right at the moment, and uh, that means I'm running my 30-year-old uh, uh, Yezu FT990, which has been pretty highly modified, and I've got uh, three 10-foot uh, uh, vertical magnetic loops uh, uh, feeding that uh, radio, so uh, uh, tell me a little bit about your station, sir. Roger. Now, Jim, are you running a compressor? Are you running a compressor on that radio? Are you running a compressor? Are you running a compressor on that radio? I have no clue. <laughs> Still very new to this. Just trying to see who I can reach out to. Yes, sir. Well, you're 3 dB now over the noise level of the Kentucky SDR. I, I wonder if you might happen to have a foam windscreen around that you could put over your mic, and we could uh, see if uh, maybe you're getting some uh, uh, some uh, noise uh, from your mouth uh, uh, instead of just the words. But uh, I, I like your modulation level. I can copy you fairly well now. There is some, some noise that comes in there from time to time, and I'm I'm not sure whether that's coming from your your voice uh, or you know or not. So if you ha happen to have a foam windscreen, you could slip over your microphone. We could uh, rule out a couple of things, Roger. Slip over your microphone. We could uh, rule out a couple of things, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. I do not. I am speaking across the mic, and not into it. But it is a little windy down here, so the wind kicks up from time to time, and I am sitting on an open back porch over. Ah, oh, you're outside, is that a Roger? Ah, oh, you're outside, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger, sitting outside on an open back porch. Roger, well, that's uh, quite a quite a transmission there. I'm copying you now about about 3 to 4 dB over the uh, 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 Kentucky SDR noise level. 
uh, like I say, I don't have a copy anywhere else uh, that uh, last time I checked, but you know, things keep changing around. Uh, sometimes uh, propagation will bring up a, a hot spot over in another SDR or, or not, you know, and uh, so every once in a while I will check to see if uh, you're coming in else places across the country, Roger. If uh, you're coming in else places across the country, Roger. Well, Roger, Roger, most of what you're saying is Greek to me, but... Uh Roger, Roger. Well, I would expect for you to understand Greek by now. I mean, you've uh, did you uh, build that radio, or, or did you buy it, or how'd you come by it? Did you uh, build that radio, or, or did you buy it, or how'd you come by it? Uh, probably, uh, where did I get it from? Got it from Radioddities. No, I'm not into building. I'm just barely getting into putting antennas together. And so far, I'm stuck with 40 meters so far. Over. Well, listen, that's not a bad place to be stuck on, you know? I mean, as, as, uh, as bands go, uh, the 40 is great uh, during the daytime and uh, uh, sometimes into the night, so you're not necessarily, uh, you know, doing too shabbily being on 40 meters. And uh, you're now, I, I guess, about uh, four, uh, let's see, about four uh, uh, dB over that uh, noise level um, uh, in, uh, of the Kentucky SDR. I just heard a couple of snaps, and I'm not really sure what... <laughs> you know, i tell you what, there's, uh, there's two th one thing that's really pretty interesting when you're talking, uh, and you're running about a thousand watts, and you hear some clicks that are undefined clicks, and you don't know whether to uh, duck or what. Undefined clicks, and you don't know whether to uh, duck or what. Yes, sir. Do you say you have some power in the closet over there? Yes, sir. Do you say you have some power in the closet over there? Uh, this is a five watt radio, and uh, hook it up to a little lipo battery, and that gives me ten watts. So I cranked it up to ten and we tried to get through, and that's when I got a hold of you. After hearing you, you were trying to reach somebody that couldn't get through. And Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think that's uh, one of the finest antennas uh, uh, that you could run. You know, it's uh, uh, very efficient. Although I, I must say that you're doing a great job with 10 watts. Uh, you know, you're really uh, getting on down the road, Roger. Uh, you know, you're really uh, getting on down the road, Roger. Thank you, sir. This is the first time I'm running 10. Uh, I just got the battery in, just rigged it up with some power poles, and I've normally been running 5, but I've been doing okay, you know, searching around, checking in on different nets. Um, I'm going to meet up with some friends of mine tomorrow, and we're, gonna, we're going up to a friend's property that's uh, up on a mountain uh, close to the Kentucky-Tennessee state line, and so we can get out up there. Over. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, I wish you uh, all the uh, luck in the world. I hope you have good propagation. And uh, yeah, like I say, you're doing a great job for, uh, for 10 watts. And if you'd like to hear your radio, we are recording. And if you'd like to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, that's KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow, Roger. Roger, Roger, that was Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Uh, what was the rest of it? Over. Roger, Roger, followed by the word logbook. Uh, so it's a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. And that will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. We'll take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Well, I appreciate that, and I'm going to go check on my animals right now, but thanks for the contact, thanks for the report.
and uh, like I said, I'm going to look up that antenna you were talking about and see about building, buying, or doing something with it. Uh, I'm running a QRP guy's uh, NFED antenna, like I said, with about a 62-foot uh, speaker wire strung between me and the woods. But so far, so good. Over. Roger, roger. Well, I would run it just like that. I wouldn't change a thing. Just run it uh, just like that. It, uh, I think you're probably as, as maxed out as you can get running it just like you are. Probably as, as maxed out as you can get running it just like you are. Uh, station calling, uh, try it again. Uh, station calling, uh, try it again. Whiskey 4 Echo X ray, is that a Roger? Whiskey 4 Echo X ray, is that a Roger? Roger, uh, what's the name there? Roger, uh, what's the name there? The name here is Gordon, and the call is KW4EX. KW4EX, is that a Roger, and the name Gordon? KW4EX, is that a Roger, and the name Gordon? Uh, that is correct. Alrighty, Gordon, and where are you located, sir? Okay, you're in Georgia, is that a Roger? Okay, you're in Georgia, is that a Roger? Uh, that is a Roger. Okay, I have a res SDR receiver in Georgia. Uh, tell me about your antenna system in about 15 seconds, and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path. Seconds, and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path. Roger, I'm on my uh, PASDR. You're about uh, five uh, clicks over there, noise level. So, uh, for the moment, I've got a pretty good copy on you. Uh, what radio is that you're running? For the moment, I've got a pretty good copy on you. Uh, what radio is that you're running? Hey, this is Vietnam 7000, the DLA Mark III. And I'm going into an aircraft GPA 1500 power amplifier. Right now, we're running about uh, 1450 watts. Wow, boy, you, we have lousy conditions today. <laughs> uh, you should be blowing me away. Let me check my local antenna. Come back and, uh, and talk to me just for a minute. I'll be on my local antenna. This is Kilo Four Echo X-Ray, located at Lake Lanier, Georgia, about 40 miles north of Atlanta. Yes, sir, I've got you on my local uh, dipole antenna. You seem to be about uh, 10 over, and uh, you have really good audio, Roger. Uh, Roger that. Thank you for the audio. I've just been playing around with my uh, CFC compression tools. Right now, I should be right at 3 kilohertz wide. I've got a low cut set at 100, high cut at 3100. And uh, from a transmit perspective, I look pretty even across the uh, frequency range. Roger, Roger. Uh, not a lot of bottom end, uh, but you do have, your signal does cut. Now, we do prefer uh, a band pass, uh, a bandwidth of 2,900 uh, versus those higher ones because uh, what happens is you wind up in somebody else's yard and they get all ticked off and come looking for you with pitchforks. So, you know, uh, 2,900, 100 to 2,900 is, uh, is a really safe uh, frequency and still gives you a lot of uh, top end 
sound articulation. Uh, but th and then it gives you a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's house. Roger? Oh, Roger that. Uh, see, see if that uh, change there, do you see a difference on your scope there? That's a very easy change on my end. I've just been playing around with some uh, rag shoe profiles here. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you have a setting now of 100 to 2900? Uh, that is correct. Yeah, so that's nice and safe. Uh, you know, it does, like I say, give you just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's house and uh, they get all upset about it. And uh, life's too short for that stuff. Uh, but, you, and you, you know, uh, you sound just beautiful that way, Roger. Okay, real fine. Well, I'm glad the uh, sound is, sound quality is good. Yeah, I was playing around with the uh, bottom end a little bit, and uh, I'm running a Howl microphone, and I changed some of the uh, uh, input configurations here in the uh, local shack. So I was trying to get the uh, audio set up back to where it uh, looked correct. Roger, Roger, your dynamic range is about 3 dB, which is nice and full, and that's what we suggest. You know, if I were to hook a VU meter onto a PA system out at a baseball game or something, and you were talking on that PA, uh, my uh, meter would just be bouncing everywhere uh, at 10 dB because it's uh, not processed. But that's not a good uh, uh, thing to be transmitting because it's just not uh, uh, full enough. So we want to condense that uh, 10 dB down to about 3 dB for transmission, and that's uh, that's exactly where you are now. So you're, I would get the uh, Gorilla tape and taper down. Okay. What about the low end? Do I have enough bottom end in the voice? Looks like I'm not real flat on the low end uh, with these uh, band settings. Yes, sir. You're you're a little barreled off on the bottom end, but on the same thing, uh, you know, if you contest bunches, uh, you are just beautiful for that. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, develop a, a more m mellower aspect, uh, I would suggest uh, bringing up maybe uh, uh, 200 cycles. Uh, plus uh, four or five if you wanted to. But, uh, you know, if you contest a bunch, I'd leave it just exactly where it is. Yeah, this is probably more for rag chew. That's what I'm working on. And interestingly enough, that's uh, kind of what I've been working on as, as you know, before I called you. I just brought it up just a very slight amount on the low end uh, and see if that makes a little bit of a difference there. Yes, it did. You could come up a couple of clicks more. If you're going to uh, do a uh, rag chew, I would come up a couple of clicks more on the bottom end, right about uh, 200 cycles, uh, 250, somewhere in there. Okay, uh, there's one more click up. How's that sound? Getting better. I would add another one. Contact, contact. Go ahead, contact. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, gosh, if you got just a moment, if you could hold on. This is Annette, and uh, I'm talking to. Uh, uh, yeah. What am I? Who am I talking to? Gordon down in Georgia, right at the moment, Roger. And I'll be. Uh, uh, you can give me a shout here just a minute. I'll call for you. Gordon, you still there? Uh, Roger, I was just waiting on the uh, contact to uh, go on and uh, uh, sign out. But at any rate, uh, yeah, I, I brought it up just a little bit more. It's easy adjustments on this end. I just don't want it to be splattering. I am running, uh, let's see, I'm not running pure signal at the moment. Ooh, that's awful. <clears throat> let's see if that makes a difference there. There's pure signal running. I should have a very clean uh, flat edges on my uh, transmit profile. Roger, Roger. Well, if you're in that 100 to 2900, that will uh, determine uh, whether you you splatter pretty much. Uh, that will keep you uh, in the, you know, within your realm. And uh, it looks to be that you're about 3 dB, which is again what I said is is a nice. Uh, uh, you know, full signal there means your average percent of peak modulation is between 80 and 85 percent. That's average percent of peak modulation. And that bottom end sounds a lot more uh, warmer now that you uh, brought that in. Also, I might uh, reiterate that I have a, a spectrum analyzer on the set. 
that is tied to the audio system and uh, it's showing your audio and my audio uh, my audio of course is direct your audio is coming in you know by radio and but it's it's still reading it so you have a you know a display of your audio uh, to uh, look at uh, and we are recording now and uh, we'll post this uh, up on YouTube in the next couple of days so if you just go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9 VKV followed by the word logbook that will take you to this recording it'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000 and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow Roger oh Roger that well I certainly do appreciate that uh, it's a real pleasure having you run this net we've chatted before and uh, I appreciate your efforts and so forth sounds real good I know you've got other people in there I did hear one other station so with that I will say 73s and thank you so much for the feedback and uh, by the way you have a uh, plus 10 uh, signal down here in Georgia as well so uh, propagation may not be great for the band but uh, we've got a pretty good path at the moment so anyhow with that, 73, and have a great afternoon, KW4EX. Roger, Roger, Gordon, uh, just FYI, we're running our uh, uh, older, 30-year-old uh, Yezu uh, uh, FT 990 this afternoon. Usually we're running a 7300, but uh, uh, today we're just kind of uh, uh, celebrating uh, radio. And uh, this uh, Yezu uh, 990 is one of our is our was our second radio that we had. Uh, it's about 30 years old, uh, but you know you got to get them out and bring them out and uh, run them every once in a while, Roger. Uh, Roger, keep the cobs, cobwebs uh, dusted off. So, all right, real fine. Well, it's sounding good. So, you got it set up very nicely. Thank you again for your efforts. KW40X, 73. Roger, Roger, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. And that uh, lady that uh, was uh, looking for a break, come on back. Uh, there's a lady out there that was uh, looking for a break. This is KC9VKV. Come on back. <laughs> Nothing heard. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Yankee 4 Delta Mike Delta. Delta Mike, Delta, come back uh, slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Yes, it's Kilo Yankee 4, Delta Mike Delta. The name here is Lucas in Richmond, Kentucky. Roger, Roger. Uh, Lucas, and uh, what, uh, uh, where was that in Kentucky? I'm in uh, Richmond, Kentucky, just south of Lexington. Roger, Roger. Lucas, and what radio are you running today? Uh, the radio is uh, Yezu FTDX. All right, Lucas, if you could give me about uh, 10 seconds and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us. Just uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds. Yeah, the uh, antenna horizontal loop antenna. It's about uh, 575 feet off the ground. Um, and uh, I just built the antenna uh, a couple months ago. Um, and and uh, I built the antenna. Uh, a couple months ago, and after I got it up and running, I had a storm come through and take down a limb, and then I lost the antenna, so I just got it rebuilt. Uh, when I'm not using it, I have an inset half wave that I also use, but uh, I'm on my horizontal loop today. Uh, yes, sir, Lucas. Now, uh, I, uh, it sounded like you might have had a little congestion in your voice. Uh, do you or is it your radio? A little congestion in your voice. Uh, do you or is it your radio? Yeah, you picked up on that. I do have just a little bit of congestion in my voice today. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it sounded sounding good. I'm looking uh, to hear you on my PASDR, and uh, you're about uh, 10 over up in uh, Pennsylvania, Roger. And uh, you're about uh, 10 over up in uh, Pennsylvania, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Hello, check, check. Hang on just a minute. One, two. Ah, well, it uh, must be somebody doing a carrier thing because uh, I've got I've got your affliction uh, uh, affliction, Roger. I've got I've got your affliction uh, uh, affliction, Roger.
Anyway, Lucas, you still have a copy? Anyway, Lucas, you still have a copy? Yes, sir. Still have a copy on you. Yay! Uh, now, Lucas, uh, let me see if I can copy you on this uh, SDR. Come back and uh, uh, tell me the best thing you like about your radio. Best thing you like about your radio? Well, I'm uh, new to HF, and uh, this is my first HF radio, so I don't have a lot to uh, compare it to, but uh, I've done a lot of research on the radio, and I've really been having a good time with it so far. I just upgraded to General uh, about a couple months ago. And so, uh, like I said, my first HF radio, but... Radio 1212. Roger, Roger. Uh, station, uh, this is this is a uh, in-use uh, frequency, uh, the QCV log net. Uh, we've been running now for about an hour on this frequency. So, uh, Lucas, uh, the first thing on that uh, FTDX10 uh, is to be sure you're in that wide... Uh, transmit mode, transmit bandwidth, 100 to 2900. Are you familiar with that? 900. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I just changed it while you were talking to the, the previous caller there. It was set on like 300 to 2700, but I changed it to 100 to 2900. Yes, sir. That will give you the best uh, opportunity for your transmitter to shine. Uh, if you go higher than that, you start uh, getting into other places, uh, other people's conversations, uh, and they don't appreciate it. So uh, 100 to 2900 is the optimum transmit bandwidth. Uh, beyond that, uh, then we suggest uh, running a, a compression um, of about th uh, 3 out of 10 or 30. I think in your case it would be a, a 30 off your uh, processor. Uh, about a 30 uh, level on your processor, Roger. On your processor, Roger. Yeah, I currently have it set on 15. Should I increase it a little bit? Yes, yeah, so I'd take it up to, to 30. Yeah, we're dealing 30 out of 100, Roger. Dealing 30 out of 100, Roger. I believe that processor level goes uh, 0 to 100. Is that a Roger? 0 to 100. Is that a Roger? Yeah, that's a Roger. I increased it from uh, 15 out of 100 to now it's on 30 out of 100. Excellent, excellent. Now go to your ALC meter with uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, uh, don't uh, stress it. Just say it like you would say any other word in the QSO. And adjust your mic level until your ALC meter is running 7. Uh, so you want to go ah uh, and uh, increase your mic level until your ALC meter is running seven, Roger. It's running seven, Roger. Roger that. Audio. 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 I turned it down quite a bit there, but it's still about, uh, it's right, the ALC meter is right. The line in between the white and the blue at about like an S9 on the S meter above it. Uh, roger that, roger that. Then are you familiar with your equalization, your tone control page? Equalization, your tone control page? Yes, I believe so. All right, let's go there. And uh, you'll be, I believe you have um, a set of control, P controls. Uh, that you will be using because you have the, your processor on. Is that a Roger? Processor on. Is that a Roger? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So we're. Uh, is that a three band or an eight band or what kind of equalization do you have there? What kind of equalization do you have there? I believe it is a three band. Okay. So we want to uh, uh, take a treble EQ plus about three, treble EQ plus three from where you are. Plus three from where you are. So I have to get you one, two, and three level. Is that what I'm adjusting? Um, gosh, uh, if you have three bands, uh, uh, number one is usually bass, uh, and uh, mid-range is uh, two, and your treble is number three, Roger? It's number three, Roger. Okay, Roger that, so adjust uh, EQ3 level. 
Yeah, sure. Two plus uh, plus three clicks uh, boost from where you are. Clicks uh, boost from where you are. Okay, that's uh, on ten out of ten there. All right. Uh, just out of curiosity, you sure you you have your equalizer turned on, Roger? Turned on, Roger. Uh, I believe so. There should should be a switch. Equalizer on, Roger. Equalizer on, Roger. Yeah, it should be uh, equalizer on or tone control on, Roger. Tone control on, Roger. Uh, I may have to look uh, more into it. I'm not exactly sure what that is. All right, so uh, then let me just give you a note on that uh, till you find out uh, what you have to do, uh, that we wanted to go uh, three clicks boost from where you are, and, and I guess that's a uh, uh, peg out on your... You're at top uh, treble control. Uh, you're at the uh, max uh, point on your treble control. Is that a roger? On your treble control, is that a roger? Yeah, that's a roger. Okay, uh, so in mid-range, that number two, uh, we want that one to be flat or off. Flat or off on that one, roger? Flat or off on that one, roger. Okay, flat or off on the mid-range, got that. Okay, and so uh, that leaves uh, the bass frequency, uh, number one, I believe it is. Uh, what is the frequency th of that? Do you see that? Uh, do you see that? So the EQ1 uh, level is on 10 and the frequency is 300 hertz. Okay, can you, is that, uh, can you move that frequency to 200? That frequency to 200. Okay, that's 200 right there. Okay, and that's uh, 200. Can you shape it? Do you have a, a, a width of four? Uh, a width of four? Yeah, the width is currently on 10. Okay, make that a width of four. With the four, so we're talking 200 cycles with the four, and uh, that level uh, needs to be uh, a start at uh, plus or minus zero, uh, you know, and then we'll we'll deal with it from there. So it should be uh, uh, flat at uh, 200 cycles with the four, Roger. Good cycles with the four, Roger. Okay, so that is uh, EQ1 level zero uh, at 200 hertz. And the EQ bandwidth is at four. Excellent, excellent. Now we want to drop that uh, bass frequency by uh, three clicks. Uh, roll off three clicks uh, uh, on your bass frequency now. Uh, on your bass frequency now. So uh, can you tell me one more time? So I'm adjusting the. EQ1 frequency down lower. It's on 200 currently. Yes, sir. And we want to minus it by three clicks. Uh, we want to minus that base frequency by three clicks, Roger. Frequency by three clicks, Roger. So when I take it down three clicks, that takes it to off. Oh, it does? Uh, okay. Um, hmm. uh, and can you go below off? Uh, and can you go below off? Uh, no, off is the lowest, and then it goes 100, and I have previously had it on 200. Uh, you mean two? Uh, you mean two? We're talking uh, 200 cycles. We're talking 200 cycles with the four, and then what's, what's your level? And then what's, what's your level? have the level on zero. Yeah, I have it on 200 cycles, width of four, and the level is on zero. All right, so then can you go minus now, about three clicks? Minus? Uh, three clicks from where you are? Uh, three clicks from where you are. 
Okay, so that is minus three on the level there. It's still on 200 cycles, bandwidth of four, minus three on the level. All right, take her one more to minus four. Take her one more to minus four. Okay, so there's minus four. Okay, and uh, tell me about your antenna system for just a minute. Your antenna system for just a minute. Okay, the antenna is a uh, homemade horizontal loop antenna. It is uh, approximately 575 feet long, and it's about 20 to 25 feet off the ground. And I'm running balance, the uh, 4 to 1 balance. Roger, Roger. And you're maxed out on your uh, your top number three frequency, the treble. You're maxed out on the boost, Roger? Maxed out on the boost, Roger. That's EQ number three. That's EQ number three. The level is on 10, which is maxed out. And the EQ three bandwidth is one, and the frequency is 2400. Okay, sir, uh, then what we want to do, if you can adjust those frequencies, we want to come up to uh, 2700 on your uh, treble frequency, uh, 2700 with the 4, 2700 with the 4 on your treble frequency, still uh, maxed out, Roger? Still uh, maxed out, Roger. Okay, there you go, that is uh, the EQ3 frequency at 2700 with the width of 4. Okay, I'm still not getting the uh, top end that I would like out of that microphone. How close are you working that mic? That microphone. How close are you working that mic? Uh, I'm pretty close to it. Probably about uh, two to three inches off the microphone. All right, so if you could back up about four inches, and we probably would need to go back and reset our ALC, I think that's going to help your uh, top end some, because right now I think we might be suffering from a proximity effect, which gives you a, a base uh, build. The, uh, we're working that mic that close. So uh, let's go back to um, uh, setting up uh, the level on the AOC. That's where you, uh, you know, you say, ah, oh, look at your AOC meter and turn your mic gain up in that new location, which is uh, further away from the mic than where you were, and adjust uh, for um, uh, seven on your AOC meter. On your AOC meter. Audio. 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 Okay, that's right at seven. It's swinging from probably six to eight, but right at seven there. And I'm backed up uh, at least two or three inches from the mic from where I was. Yes, sir. It's sounding better. Now let's go back to EQ. Uh, roll one more off on your bottom end, number one EQ. Uh, minus one more click uh, uh, level uh, deletion. One more click uh, 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 roll on your base control, Roger. Everything else the same. Just roll one click off, one additional click. Roll one click off, one additional click. Okay, so that is uh, EQ level 1 is now down to a minus 5, and bandwidth at 4, and frequency. Yes, sir. As near as I can tell, that's going to sound pretty good. Uh, I don't have the copy that I had earlier in our conversation, but uh, the way we were going, I think this is uh, going to work out pretty well for us, Roger. going to work out pretty well for us, Roger. So uh, come back and give me uh, about uh, uh, 10 or 15 seconds on the uh, thing you like best about your radio. Uh, 10 or 15 seconds on the uh, thing radio. I'll be with you there. I'll ask you, do you think I'm uh, too far off of the mic there, or is that a, a better spot for me? Like I said, I'm probably five or six inches away from the microphone now. I think that sounds pretty good. I'm not hearing any room noise or motor noise or anything else, so uh, I think you can run that mic just like that. But uh, leave your ALC meter out where you can see it, and uh, try to keep it in that sweet spot at 7. Roger. And uh, try to keep it in that sweet spot at 7. Roger. Uh, Roger. Maybe maybe it a little higher at times, but about 7. Yes, sir, that would be uh, ideal. Roger, roger. Yes, sir, that would be...
would be uh, ideal, Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger that. So if you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. One in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Okay, very good. Thank you for your help. Roger, Roger, Lucas, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. Uh, and uh, gosh, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Bravo, Uniform Echo, whereabouts are you, sir? Oh, Uniform Echo, whereabouts are you, sir? November. Over. Oh, I got you now on the PASDR. Come back with that call sign again. Oh, I got you now on the PASDR. Come back with that call sign again. November 2, Bravo Uniform Echo, N2BUE, over. Roger, Roger, is this Ron? Roger, Roger, is this Ron? Yes, Jim, Ron, here in New Jersey, over. Roger, Ron in New Jersey. I, I'm copying you through the uh, um, SDR and PA. And uh, it sounds like, uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, if there's a carrier in there or not, but uh, mine sounds uh, kind of choppy coming back to me, Roger. Uh, mine sounds uh, kind of choppy coming back to me, Roger. Okay, what, is there something with my audio, Jim, over? No, sir, I think it's the uh, SDR I'm listening to you on. Uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10, and uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path, Roger. And uh, let me look around and see if I can find a better path, Roger. Yeah, okay, yeah, very good. Yeah, I'm just running an inverted V. And I'm on a 40 here. And I'm on, a, I'm on a really cheap microphone that I wanted to try out. So uh, that's why I, I gave you a call. So hopefully... Uh, the signal is clean and the audio is clean, but um, so anyway, I just want to check this uh, cheap microphone out. It's a uh, Audio Tech 2040, and my nephew sent it to me and said, "Try this microphone out. You might like it." Over. Yes, sir. Well, it's gosh, it sounds okay. Uh, you might uh, bump up your uh, audio gain uh, uh, about uh, four clicks to make up for the uh, the difference between that mic and your other mic. Or I'll tell you what, just uh, uh, do set that level. Uh, audio, spoken just as you would speak any other word, adjust your mic gain until uh, your uh, uh, ALC meter is running uh, two-thirds, Roger. Running uh, two thirds, Roger. Okay, Jim. Uh, audio and my ALC is right about oh, good two thirds right now, Jim. Over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you're running about. Uh, uh, let's see. That what radio is that you're running? Uh, let's see. That's what radio is that you're running? Yeah, I'm on the uh, FDDX-10, the Azu FDDX-10, over. Roger, so you want to set that uh, uh, that compressor at 30, that processor at 30, Roger? Uh, that compressor at 30, that processor at 30, Roger? Uh, yes, Jim, the, the, the processor's at 30, 
And uh, so let me see what the mic gain is right now. Uh, hold on. And the mic gain is at 34. So the, the compressor is at 30. And the mic gain is at 34. Over. Roger. Okay, let's try and move that mic gain up to 44. Uh, move that mic in up to 44 and let me listen to you. 44. Uh, move that mic in up to 44 and let me listen to you. Okay, Jim, I just moved the mic gain up to 44. So let's see, JLC is just barely going into the uh, blue, so it's uh, a little bit better in two terms, over. Yes, sir. You're still uh, just barely uh, 3dB dynamic range, which is what we want. So I think you can run it like that uh, without any problem, Roger. I think you can run it like that uh, without any problem, Roger. No, okay. Okay. Let's just, uh, like I said, he sent me this microphone, and it's a, he said it's a cheaper microphone. I think he says like a 40 or $50 mic. It's a uh, Audio Tech 2040. He said, "Check it out." So I, I figure it is, is a good way to check it out with uh, KC9VKV here this afternoon. Conditions aren't very good. I'm not really copying you real well. You're about an S5, and uh, conditions have been pretty poor here lately. So, but anyway. I was just curious uh, how this darn thing would, uh, have, you know, how it would perform. Over. Yes, yeah, sir. If you wanted to, you could pull that back to about a 40. You could pull it back to about a 40, and uh, that would still give you a good uh, uh, dynamic range. Uh, and uh, you say, uh, I'm, I'm running my, um, in, instead of my 7300, which I normally run, uh, today I'm uh, running my Yezu uh, FT-990, about a 30-year-old radio, pretty highly modified, 30-year-old uh, radio, Roger. Radio, pretty highly modified, 30-year-old uh, radio, Roger. Oh, okay, Jim, very good. Okay, I, I turned the mic down to a 40, and I see that on the AL. See, it's a little not reflecting quite as much. And your 990 sounds very good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, very good audio. At that time, you was about an S7. So, uh, conditions haven't been very good on 40 here in the last week or so. It's been up and down. Earlier, when you, I started listening to you at uh, 3.30, I could barely hear you. At times, I had no copy on you. And then about, oh, I'm going to say roughly about Oh, I'm going to say quarter to four, four thirty. Your signal started coming up, and I could copy it pretty good. So that's why I jumped in here when I did. It's just pretty darn uh, poor conditions here on forty uh, this afternoon, Jim. Over. Roger, Ron. Well, I've got you uh, thirty. Uh, I'm sorry, about uh, fifteen over on the. Uh Let's see, on the Milford uh, PA SDR over the noise level. So uh, I have a really good signal on you, and I'm so glad you uh, checked in. Uh, as always, uh, uh, good audio. I think that mic's, uh, you know, uh, well worth it uh, if you want to run that. Uh, it sounds good. I think you can run it on the old uh, EQ curve. Sounds uh, close enough. Uh, I'll have this uh, audio uh, up to YouTube by noon tomorrow. So just uh, go to YouTube. Did I call it? a search KC9 VKV followed by the word logbook and that will take you to this recording and be cut number one in a series of uh, 3,000 and again uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow Roger 3,000 and again uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow Roger okay Jim very good well thank you for coming back to me and I'm glad I could get to, to, to have a chuso with you this afternoon and check this your microphone out. So uh, I'm going to say 73. Keep up the good work. And hey, every now and again, I'll give you a call. So I always enjoy listening to your net. So you take care and uh, 
Okay, you still have a couple more minutes, I see, for someone else to check in. KC9, VKV, N2, BUE. Have a good evening, Jim. Roger, Roger, Ron, 73 of that way. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, if you get a chance, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KT9GKV, WA4APL. WA4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. WA4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Whiskey Alpha 4, Alpha Papa Lima. Alpha Papa Lima, Jim, over. Alpha Papa Lima, Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Alpha Papa Lima, Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Name here's Charlie, and I'm uh, just east of Charlotte, North Carolina, over. Roger, Roger, Charlie in North Carolina, and uh, Charlie, what uh, radio are you running today? Charlie in North Carolina, and uh, Charlie, what uh, radio are you running today? Well, I've always uh, wondered, uh, Jim, how far back in time you could go and be of help, and I'm, I'm sure it's a long way back. So this one might really push you. This is uh, 1968, Galaxy GT550. Over. Uh, Galaxy uh, GT... Five, uh, five sixty. Is that right? Five, uh, five sixty. Is that right? It's a five five zero. This is a, a hybrid two transistor from the late sixties, back in the uh, Collins Drake uh, and World Radio Lab days. Uh, I do have some EQ in front of the microphone, so I do have. A couple of knobs I can turn, Jim, but not like uh, most of the guys can take it over. Ah, oh, Roger, Roger. Do you have any uh, compression on that uh, outboard gear? Ah, oh, Roger, Roger. Do you have any uh, compression on that uh, outboard gear? Uh, negative. It's just a straight three-band uh, uh, audio equalizer on the mic circuit. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, you're really close on the EQ. You might pump up the top end uh, a couple of clicks. Uh, your treble uh, a couple of clicks hotter than where you are on your external device, Roger. A couple of clicks hotter than where you are on your external device, Roger. Okay. Uh, so I've uh, bumped up the... Uh high band uh, just a bit, and uh, just uh, let you listen to that for a second, and uh, see what you think of that, Jim, over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got it there. I would get the Gorilla Tape out and uh, taper down uh, if you're going to use that configuration on uh, that radio. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I'm running a... It's, normally, I'm running my 7300, but today I'm running my uh, FT... Uh, uh, 990, Yezu, and uh, I think that radio is about 30 years old. I'm not real sure. Have you, are you familiar with that 990? About 30 years old. I'm not real sure. Are you, are you familiar with that 990? Oh, yeah. I have uh, have a friend down in Atlanta with the 990. Uh, I'm not sure it's that old. I want to say it's uh, you know, mid-90s at least. It could be late 90s. I, I've got some Yezu gear. I thought the 990 was uh, a little bit later vintage. But I may be wrong, Jim. Yes, yeah, so I'm not really sure. And also, uh, uh, let's see here, uh, Charlie. You might uh, uh, disregard there's uh, something about this uh, my uh, PASDR this afternoon. It sounds like it's being submodulated by something. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I hear it in my my uh, comeback, and I hear it in you also. So there's a little impurity in my uh, SDR, uh, Pennsylvania SDR this afternoon, Roger. Yeah, SDR, uh, Pennsylvania SDR this afternoon, Roger. Well, I don't hear it. Um, you know, I don't have a great set of ears on this radio, Jim, but I don't hear anything. Uh, I did get some bad reports this morning on this radio, and uh, I wanted to check find you here this afternoon and uh, reasonably good signal from between here and, and your QTH. So I don't hear anything, but, uh, you know, I will, uh, uh, you certainly know better than I do. BWA4APL. 
Roger, Roger, Charlie. I just went to my local antenna, and uh, it's uh, clean, your cleaner's attack, and it is the uh, SDR that's uh, got some trouble this afternoon. Maybe somebody's doing an unmodulated uh, carrier or something. Uh, it sounds like that might be uh, uh, what it is, uh, some kind of conflict uh, uh, that uh, is uh, is there, and messing the audio up a little bit. But you're, I'm uh, on my local uh, uh, Yaesu uh, 990, and uh, you're clean as attack. Roger? Okay, well, that is, uh, that is reassuring news. I did some work with it on this radio a month or so ago, and uh, I uh, found uh, found a couple of uh, filtering bugs in the, one of the one of the power supplies that affected the audio uh, on the TV and got that ironed out. And uh, I just wanted to run it by you. Um, thank you for the travel advice. I did kick that up a notch or two. Uh, level wise, am I overdriving, or does you, does it sound like there might be uh, more room on top for me to move this uh, gain control up, Jim? Over. Well, that's what I wanted to uh, check out. You're, you're fairly unprocessed. looks like you're fairly unprocessed. Uh, uh, you could use uh, a little... Does that radio have uh, inboard compression? Uh, negative. No, sir, it does not. It's, uh, it's just a flat, uh, flat audio circuit in the, uh, the balance modulator. So there's nothing other than the gain control I have on my EQ that I can uh, adjust over Okay, so let's, uh, do you, you've got an ALC meter, Roger. I don't have an ALC meter. <laughs> you know, I, I really wish I did on this radio. Uh, I, you know, my other rig is a uh, Kenwood TS-590, and uh, the ALC feature is very helpful. I, I, I do not, I'm kind of flying blind on this thing, over. You don't even have a light? No, sir, it's, uh, it's nothing. Uh, all you, all you get to see on uh, transmit is the plate current. That's uh, all, all that I have on this end, uh, Jim, is the plate current. Now, there could be something on the back of the radio that I would have to instrument up, but uh, I'm not aware of anything, Robert. Roger, Roger. So, um, uh, gosh, uh, how much uh, audio gain do you have left on your outboard gear? Can you, can you give me uh, about uh, five clicks more level on your outboard gear? Take it up. I have plenty of room on the uh, on the uh, EQ to bump up the gain. Here's one notch again. I'll call that a, a notch, although I don't have any stops in the uh, in the uh, potentiometer. Here's another one. That's what's called that two. And then I'll give you a three and just let you react to that, Jim. Over. Yeah, you're better off at one. Go back to one. Uh, that was pretty full there. That one, Roger. Let me hear that one again. Okay, I'm back down at one notch, one notch uh, from uh, from where I was when we started this. One notch, Jim, over. Roger, Roger. I can see your audio uh, dynamic range uh, start to start to back up a little bit, which is w exactly what we want. So I'd run it uh, at uh, one. That's about uh, what about five or five clicks hotter than where you were. Well, it's hard to tell. I don't. It, it's just an analog control. Uh, you know, kind of a zero to ten deal, and uh, and I just moved it up, uh, you know, maybe 15 degrees. So uh, that's all I can tell you on that, too. I'm very analog over here, Jim. Over. Roger, Roger. Now, do you have uh, uh, equalizer on that outboard stuff? Yes, I do, but it's a three-band equalizer only. Okay, I would take the mid-range down uh, some. Uh, back off that mid-range a little bit, so it's not so uh, mid-rangey, Roger. Okay, I'm going to go minus one on the mid-range. Minus one, minus one. Uh, let me go minus two, minus two, and uh, and minus three on the mid-range. Jam over. All right, are you maxed out now on your your treble? Can you give me some more treble? Absolutely, I can give you a plus one on the treble. Plus one, plus one, and plus two. Plus two on the treble, Jam, over. Uh, go back to plus one on the treble. Okay, we're back at plus one on the treble and minus two on the mid-range. All righty, and uh, I'm starting to uh, lose you a little bit there, but uh, tell me uh, uh, again what the uh, name of that radio is. Like XY, like XY, GP, 
Steve, like a jewel, a golf, a tango, 550, GT550, ever? Okay, uh, back off on your output level uh, just a little bit. Your mic output level, uh, external mic uh, output level uh, uh, a little bit uh, because you were uh, breaking up there. So uh, let's bring it down some. Uh, because you were uh, breaking up there. So uh, let's bring it down some. Okay, I'm going to go back to what I'll call zero. Where we started. Zero on the output level. Here, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would stay there. That that sounds clean as attack, Roger. Sir, yes, sir. I would stay there. That that sounds clean as attack, Roger. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I look forward to uh, watching the video this weekend. Uh, if you can, certainly appreciate your Thank you so much. Who I was looking for today. Thank you so much, Jim. Hope you have a great weekend, and uh, I appreciate what you're doing here on the band. Hello, Charlie Dunn. Thanks so much for watching. Roger, Roger, Alpha Papa Lima, 73 that way, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. If you get a chance, join us uh, next Friday. We'd love to have you. And uh, with all that being said, if you participated and want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will bring you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 3,000, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. And so, with that being said, we got to get out of here and return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear.